Hello everyone and welcome to this quick introductory video to this new tutorial series that I'm going to be starting which is all about adding sound effects and music to your game using an API called OpenAL and this week I'm just going to be giving you a quick overview of the main concepts that we're going to be using in the coming weeks. This tutorial series is going to be going out every two weeks so it's going to be alternating with the OpenGL graphics series and the idea of that is so that you can start adding audio into your game as well as still working on the engine. This series is probably not going to be too long, I'd imagine that it's going to be about 6 to 10 episodes long, but it will take you through everything that you need to know to be able to play 3D sound effects and music in your game. In this series I'm going to be programming in Java, but seeing as we're mainly just concentrating on the OpenAL API, you should be able to follow along in whatever language you want. I'm going to be implementing the audio code into the 3D engine that we've been working on in the OpenGL tutorial series, but you absolutely don't need to have watched any of those tutorials to follow this series. What you will need, however, is of course access to the OpenAL API. If you're using Lightweight Java Game Library, which I imagine most of you are, then you don't need to download anything else because Lightweight Java Game Library provides access to the OpenAL API. Otherwise, you'll have to find and download an OpenAL wrapper for the programming language that you're using. So OpenAL stands for Open Audio Library, and it's a pretty simple API which allows you to add 3D audio into your game. And by 3D audio, I mean that sounds can be played from specific 3D locations in your 3D world, and your position as the listener relative to the sound's position in the 3D world determines the amplitude of the sound and the direction of the sound, so which speaker the sound is played from. OpenAL handles pretty much all of this for us, so all we really need to do as a programmer is to decide where and how we want our sound effects to be played. When we're working with OpenAL, there are three main components that we're going to be using, or three main types of object that we'll use. The first of these three is buffers, and these simply represent audio data. So like in OpenGL, where you store data for your models in VBOs, here we store our sound effects in buffers. So as a really simple example, when you start your game, you could load up all of your sound effects and store each one in a buffer. So each buffer would basically represent one sound effect or one audio file. You can basically think of buffers as CDs with audio data on them, and each sound effect or music track would have its own CD. If the buffers are like CDs, then this next object type is like a CD player. So these objects are what actually play the sound effects, and in OpenAL, these are called sources. So for example, in my game Equinox, I could create a load of sources, attach one source to each sheep, and then whenever I need a sheep to make a noise, I can use its source to play the relevant sound effect, which of course would be in the form of a buffer. Each source has its own properties, and you can set the properties of each individual source to change how it plays the sound effects. So just like any audio playing device, you can choose the volume of each source. So you could make one source very loud and one source very quiet, for example. Each source also has a 3D position in the world, and they each also have a velocity, which determines the direction and speed in which the source is traveling, which OpenAL uses to simulate the Doppler effect. The final type of object that we're going to be using is the listener, which represents you, the person listening to the sound effect. So the listener determines where you should be hearing the sound effects from so that OpenAL can use that information to work out how loud the sound effects should be played and which direction they should appear to be coming from. You can only ever have one listener because you can only be listening to the sounds from one location in the world and usually this listener would be in the position of your camera or your in-game player. The listener also has a few properties that we'll need to determine such as position in the world and velocity. In terms of the code, the OpenAL functions and constants have a similar naming system to the OpenGL naming system, so all of the methods start with AL something, as do all of the integer constants, which are used a lot in OpenAL, as they are in OpenGL. Most of what we're going to be doing with OpenAL is creating those objects that I just talked about and setting their properties. So to give you an idea, I'll show you some example code here. So this is the method to generate a new source. And just like in OpenGL, it's a gen method, and it returns the ID of the source. And then to change any properties of the source, we use one of the AL source methods, where the last part of the method name indicates what type of data the property is. So to change the position, for example, we would call AL source 3F, because a 3D position is 3 floats. And we then put in the ID of the source, 
we indicate which property we want to set and we then put in the new value of the property. If we want to set the volume or the gain of the source, then we call AL source F because the volume is just one float. And again, we put in the ID of the source, we indicate which property of the source we want to change and we put in the new value for the volume. And that is really the main part of OpenAL, just creating those buffers of sound data, creating the sound sources that can play those sounds, and then setting the various properties of the sources and the listener. So that is it for this quick introductory video to the OpenAL API. In the next tutorial, we'll have a look at loading sound files and then playing them using a source. And that video will be out in two weeks time, because next week we're going to be finishing off the shadows in the OpenGL series. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week, and I will see you all next time.